Shalom, we out here once again giving all praises to you. How about Shem Yahu Shah, about Shem And we're going to go right into it. Today's date is, uh, what is it, 28? Uh, December 28, 2019. Uh, year of Karagma. Four more days. Uh, four more days. It'll be 2020. You know? Anybody got anything? All right, go, to, go into it. This is Isaiah chapter 47, verse 1. Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. Yeah, Babylon is not talking about ancient Babylon. It's talking about America. And uh, dust represents confusion. So they're in the dust right now. They're confused. They don't know what's going on. They, they, they're all um, messed up by the whole Hebrew-Israelite thing. And uh, the elite knows exactly what's going on. But the uh, rest of the Edomites don't know what's going on. They don't know that this place, there's going to be a change of worlds. And this place is going to be destroyed. And a new kingdom is going to be established uh, by the children of Israel, which we are the children of Israel. Go ahead. It says, sit on the ground. There is no throne. There's no throne. You're getting, like, you're getting knocked off your throne in slow motion. Go ahead. O daughter of the Chaldeans. For thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. Now it says, O oh, daughter of the Chaldeans. So you're the daughter of Babylon. There's other references references of uh, Esau being the daughter of Babylon. Anybody got any? any? Bring it out. One that comes to mind is, uh, is like Psalms. Psalms 137. Yeah. Psalms 137 and 7. Remember, O oh, Yahweh, the children of Edom in the day of Jerusalem, who said, Raise it, raise it, even to the foundation thereof. O daughter of Babylon, who art to be destroyed, happy shall ye be that rewarded thee as thou hast served us. Happy shall ye be that take it and dash it thy little ones against the stone. Now we know it's not talking about ancient Babylon because ancient ba Babylon was never referred to as the daughter of Babylon. So the daughter, the Babylon had to have a daughter. So that daughter is a spiritual daughter. That, that daughter is a miracle. Yeah. 71%. Yeah. That's it on that? Yes. All right, let's go back to where we left off. Right. Isaiah 47, verse 2. God. Take the millstones and grind mill, uncover thy locks and make bare the leg. Uncover thy the thigh, pass over the rivers. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered. Yeah, thy shame shall be seen. Yeah, thy nakedness is uh, the, the crime that you commit. You know? Number one that comes to mind is uh, slavery. You taking uh, so-called black people against their wills and, and bringing them over here to serve slavery. Yep. And you can't say, oh, it was just the South. No, you had uh, the, the U.S. government, they caught, they captured slaves. They had, they had uh, uh, laws in place to uh, protect the slave owners and the captured slaves. The whole police, this whole uh, uh, police had come from uh, the uh, slave trade, the uh, we call them slave uh, patrols, the, 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 the paddy pad, wagon, paddy rollers. Paddy rollers. You know, when they when they would be an escape uh, slave, they would have uh, bands of white, so-called white men, go out and um, hey, shalom, all right, shalom, shalom, shalom. Go out and uh, capture the slaves. So there was laws in place, man. Yeah. The reason why um, uh, uh, this guy Lincoln, he, he never freed the slaves. He emancipated the slaves, meaning he took the slave from the south and uh, place them uh, under the uh, U.S. government, which the seat of government is, is, is in Washington, D.C. Because he, he said, he said, if I could do this without free, free the slaves, I would. And there's many times he used the term nigga. Yep. So he didn't give a, he didn't give a damn about slaves. He had slaves, right? And he had slaves, right? He was related to the Rothschilds. Too. He's related to the Rothschilds, and he's really a so-called Jew. Yeah, Springfield. Yep. Last name was Springfield. Yep. All right, go ahead. He says, he says, thy nakedness shall be uncovered. Yeah, thy shame shall be seen. I will take vengeance, and I will not meet thee as a man. As for our Redeemer, the Lord of hosts is his name, the Holy One of Israel. Sit thou silent and get thee into darkness, O daughter of the Chaldeans. For thou shalt no more be called the Lady of Kingdoms. I was wroth with my people. I have polluted mine inheritance and given them into thine hand. Thou didst show them no mercy, 
Yeah, because when we went into the hands of uh, Esau uh, under the guise of the daughter of Babylon, we were given unto their hands and they didn't show us any mercy. Time. So, you know, you're going down now and when we get you in our kingdom, we're not going to show you any mercy. God, like, like that art article we were reading earlier? Yeah, as soon as you bring it out, you go ahead and read it. Son, I, got the, I got the article. You got a precept, right? right? Go ahead. It's Ezekiel chapter 25, verse 12. Thus saith the Lord Yahweh, because that Edom had dealt against the house of Judah by taking vengeance, and had greatly offended and revenged himself upon them. Therefore, thus saith the Lord Yahweh, I will also stretch out mine hand upon Edom, and will cut off man and beast from it, and I will make it desolate from T-Man, and they of the dead shall fall by the sword. And I will lay my vengeance upon Edom by the hand of my people Israel. Well, I will lay my vengeance upon Edom by the hand of my people Israel, right? So I, I wonder if we go to the commentary, what would that say? You know? <laughs> yeah, we were going to the, if y'all notice, I've been doing videos dealing with the commentary of different scriptures. And uh, there was two, when you go to the list, there was a commentary put up by, uh, what's his name? Uh, Guzik, Matthew, Matthew, Henry, Henry and uh, David Guzik. And so I was reading these commentaries. You know, I, uh, I did one on Isaiah, Isaiah 16. I did one on uh, Jeremiah uh, uh, 50, verse 33, and they totally went off. But what they agreed with is that it's something that's going to happen in the future. But they'll make up something. And you know, what we're finding out is these so-called Christians really don't understand the scriptures, especially when it comes to uh, prophecy. You know? So go ahead. It says, and they shall do in Edom according to my anger and according to my fury, and they shall know my vengeance, saith the Lord Yahweh. Yeah, so they're getting ready to know the vengeance of the Lord Yahweh. Somebody give me Isaiah 13 and 1. Isaiah chapter 13, verse 1. The burden of Babylon... It's Isaiah, the son of Amos, did see. Now, this is not talking about ancient Babylon because as you read down, this Babylon is going to be utterly destroyed. It's going to be wiped, wiped away. It's going to become a, 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 a barren desert. This, this never happened to uh, the ancient Babylon during the time of the captivity of Judah. But Christians don't, Christians don't know this because this, this truth was not given to them. It was given to the children of Israel. Oh, so give me uh, real quick to prove that Isaiah, uh, Deuteronomy 29, verse 29. Got it. Deuteronomy 29, 29. The secret things belong unto the Lord, our power. But those things which are revealed belong unto us and to our children forever. Read that again. The secret things belong unto the Lord, our power. But those things which are revealed belong unto us and to our children forever. So who's the us? The Israel. us are Israelites. Israelites. And really a certain group of Israelites which are the elect or the prophets. Is there more to that? That we may do all the words of this law. So that's what we're doing. And the, the fact that we're prophesying is a law. So that's a, you talk about keeping the laws. Well, prophesying is keeping the laws. Right? Time. Yeah. Um, I was thinking of something, another scripture that it escaped me. Oh, Amos, Amos 3. I got a quick piece of apostle. Go ahead. Deuteronomy 27, 26. Cursed be he that confirmeth not all the words of this law to do them, and all the people shall say, so be true. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I found a, a quick article on uh, uh, Abraham Lincoln because you mentioned him. It said, the article, I'll just get right to the point. It said he was a so-called Jew. His last name was Springsteen. And he was, uh, it said he also became a relative of the Rothschild family by blood. Mm. So they bring well, out they the killed them too. So yeah. you know, maybe he they, they killed their own people, you know? So he knew exactly who the who the who the slaves were. Because the Rothschilds know. So that means he knew. He knew that we were the Israelites. Right, where are we at? This is Amos three and seven. Surely the Lord power will do nothing, but he revealed the secrets to his servants, the prophets. Read that again. Uh, Amos 3 and 7. Surely the Lord power will do nothing, but he revealed his secret unto his servants, the prophets. His servants, the prophets, which are Israelites. Which are straight up Israelites. 
any, any more? Uh, yep, yeah, I got some. This is out of the book of Colossians, chapter 1, verse 25. It says, Even the mystery which had been hid from ages and from generations, but now is made manifest to his saints. Yeah, so, so as a matter of fact, hold on to, uh, Daniel 12 and 4, I believe, or 3. Matter of fact, start at one and then also hold uh, Revelation uh, 5, verse 1. Daniel chapter 12, verse 1. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble, such as never was since there was a nation, even to that same time. And at that time thy people shall be delivered. Read that again, please. And at that time shall Michael stand up. The great prince which standeth for the children of thy people, and there shall be a time of trouble, such as never was since there was a nation, even to that same time. And we're coming to that time, which is also known as Jacob's trouble. Go ahead. And at that time thy people shall be delivered. So when all hell breaks loose, that's when our, that's when the people of the Lord are going to be delivered, and they're only Israelites, not Hamites and Ishmaelites and Moabites and Edomites. And I'm using biblical. America, uh, terms because the people that you see today walking up and down in, Amer in America and around the world they all come from uh, one of those nations they all come from one of the sons of uh, Noah uh, Shem, Ham, and Japheth which the average person doesn't even know even Christians a lot of Christians don't understand that they don't understand that the people that you see today they had to come from somewhere they didn't grow on trees they came from their fathers and their fathers' fathers and their fathers' fathers' father all the way back to Ham, uh, Ham Sham, and Jephthah. These people, these people are, are they, they're, they're in darkness, and you can see it on their faces. They don't know what the hell is going on. Quick precept for you. Go ahead. Isaiah 60 and 1. It says, Arise, shine, for thy light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, and gross darkness to people, but the Lord shall arise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen upon thee. Yep. Just like you said, gross darkness means ignorance. Man. Yep. No, you got a precept? Yep. This is Psalms 82 and 5. They know not, neither will they understand. They walk on in darkness. All the foundations of the earth are out of course. All the everything is out of, out of order. You know? Time. I got one more. Um, we had some precepts that told y'all a whole. Go ahead. John, John 3 and 19. And this is the condemnation that light is coming to the world. And men love darkness rather than light. Because yeah, because that's all they know is darkness. Lies. <laughs> These people ain't. There's not a There's a great awakening among the uh, elect. Because the most high is only dealing with the elect. Yep. If you can't get it, that means you ain't, you ain't part of the elect. The elect. Oh, go ahead. This is Revelation chapter 3, verse 18. I counsel thee to buy of me gold tried in the fire, that thou mayest be rich, and white raiment, that thou mayest be clothed, and that the shame of thy nakedness do not appear, and anoint thine eyes with eyes of, that thou mayest see. So yeah. we see this truth. That's right. Shalom, brother. Shalom, brother. Shalom. Shalom. Right. Oh, go ahead. Uh, that was it. You have more, bro? Uh, Daniel 12 and 2. And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life. And, and that's us. We were all in the dust. When we came over here and served slavery, see, what you got to understand is the fact that we don't know that we're Israelites because the so-called white man beat, beat, us out, beat it out of us and gave us this Christianity, man. Yep. Yeah. And so they're mad because we're leaving this Christianity under the guise of being free, which we're not free. Because now that this ADL, so-called Jews, are trying to pass laws where you can't say anything hateful against a so-called Jew, right. which we hardly even speak about them. How often do we speak about them? We don't even, we, we're talking, this is a global yeah. thing, man. This yeah. is talking, talking about all nations. All right? It's talking about all nations going to come up. Give, give me Jeremiah 1, verse 4. And so we are prophet unto the nation. And huh. we ain't a prophet unto the so-called Jews or just just the Negroes, you yeah. know, the black black people. Yeah, I got it. We're, pro we're prophets. That's why we know that the, who the Elamites are. The Elamites don't know who they are. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Moab doesn't know who he is. You know, the, 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 the Hamites, they don't know who the hell they are. 
You got you got Sudanese. If you took a Sudanese and you brought them over here to America and you took them to a, a museum in, in, in the, let's say the uh, Met, uh, the Metropolitan Museum, and you took them to the Egyptian section, he'll be looking at that, looking at them um, war releases and and seeing it just look just like his ass. Shalom, Mike. Shalom, shalom. It looked just like him. It looked just like his ass. And um, here we got the sign. But um, but they, but they, but they can't see that that's them. They can't see. Oh, wait a minute! That looked like my uncle. You know? Oh, that looked like my second cousin. Yep. Oh, that looked like my sister. Like Manute Manute Bowl. If he ever went to the museum, you look. All the all the people on the wall look like Manute Bowl, man. Yeah. And his cousins, you know. <laughs> I got a quick preset. So, so here you got the people in Sudan. Through a process of elimination, the people in Sudan would have to be the the, the, the so-called Egyptians, because where are they located? They're, they're south of Egypt. Who's in Egypt now? Arabs. So you telling me that the ancient Egyptians were Arabs? Nope. No. At one time, that Esau would teach you that the Egyptians were white. You see how messed up and screwed up these people are? They don't know who they are, man. Go ahead, I. Uh, Isaiah 25 and 7. And he will destroy in this mountain the face of the covering cast over all people and the veil that is spread over all nations. That's it. Now, you wanted um, Jeremiah 1 and 4? Yeah. Uh, Jeremiah 1 and 4. Then the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee, and I ordained thee a prophet unto the nation. So we're prophets unto the nation. We're not just a prophet to Israel. We're a prophet to the nations. So we tell the nations who they are. You know, now Edomites are waking up to the fact that they're Edomites. Like this one video, this Edomite woman said that Edomites rock. You know, we, we're in the rulership. We running shit. She said Edomites, Edomites is running shit. So Esau began to Esau is began to know who they are yeah. as a people, man. Yeah, yeah. I got one more precept. Um Isaiah 34 and 1. Come near ye nations to hear and hearken ye people. Let the earth hear and all that is therein, the world and all things that come forth of it. Backs up what you just said. Mm -hmm set up as prophets to the nations. So, Go ahead. So Isaiah chapter 49, verse 1. Listen, O Oz, unto me, and hearken ye people from far. The Lord Yahweh had called me from the womb, from the bowels of my mother, that he made mention of my name, and he had made my mouth like a sharp sword in the shadow of his hand, that he hit me, and made me a polished shaft in his quiver, and he hid me. And said unto me, Thou art my servant, O Israel, in whom I will be glorified. Then said I, Then I said, like I have labored in vain. I have spent my strength from naught. That's why a lot of guys fall off. Yeah. Because they'll put in a certain number of years, then they no longer want to do this. They become disenchanted. All right, it's good to speak about it. He that endureth to the end, the same shall be saved. Go ahead. And these and these prophecies, hold her back up too. And these prophecies are now coming to light, man. Hey, the fame. What is that in Zephaniah where it speaks about that? You can get that too. Uh, the, the the fame. We're getting the fame on the negative side, which which that's the word infamous, which means uh, uh famous in a negative in a negative way. Go ahead. I have spent my strength for naught and in vain. Yet surely my judgment is with the Lord Yahweh and my work with my power. Yeah, hey, when you go back to the past, Yahweh Shai was his fame was noise abroad, but it was mostly negative, you know. It, it says verse five, and now save the Lord Yahweh that formed me from the womb to be a servant, to bring Jacob again to him. Thou Israel. Though Israel be not gathered. Though Israel be not gathered, because you got this uh, uh, mindset of, well, we got to wake up all the Israelites. No, you don't got to wake up all the Israelites. The Mosai is going to come in his time anyway. So who's going to wake up 
the, the elect, the most high is going to wake up the elect. He's going to open up their ears. That's in Isaiah the sixth chapter. John. And uh, Yahweh has said that no man cometh to me unless my father draweth him. You know? Yes. It says, Though Israel be not gathered, yet look shall I be glor wow. glorious in the nah, eyes ready for of the Lord Yahweh, and my power shall be my strength. And he said, It is a light thing that thou shouldest be my servant to raise up the tribes of Jacob and to restore the, the preserve of Israel. And that's our job. That's what we're doing. Preserve. And that's why they're speaking about us on the news in a negative way, a negative light. Hey, because hey, this, hey, the most I knew what he was doing, you know? Hey, because he said, go out on the highways and the byways. And that's why we got this fame of the infamy, because of us, all these different camps going out on the highways and the byways all around the country and strategic areas around, around this country and around the world. And then YouTube came along and we took advantage of YouTube to the fullest, man. I got a quick piece of apostle. Go ahead. Amos 5 and 10. They hate him that rebuketh in the gate, and they abhor him that speaketh now, uprightly. Who hates us? The enemy. God. Who's the enemy? If you go to uh, Psalms 83, number one on the list is the Edomites. And now they're beginning to wake up to the fact that they're Edomites. And somebody got Habakkuk 2, right? Give me Habakkuk 2. I, I got one real Start quick. Can I read this real quick, Pastor? Uh, John 7, 7. The world cannot hate you, but me it hateth, because I testify of it that the works thereof are evil. Read that again. The, the, uh, John 7, 7. The world cannot hate you, but me it hateth, because I testify of it that the works thereof are evil. But the works thereof are evil. All right, go ahead with your precept, Pastor. Rebecca, chapter 2, verse 1. I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower. Now, before you read on, give me, uh, what is that, Isaiah 65, verse, is that Isaiah 62, verse 5? Go ahead. Isaiah chapter 62, verse 6. I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, but shall never hold their peace day nor night. He that make mention of the Lord Yahweh, by Shemi Shai, keep not silence, and give him no rest. Until he established, until he makes Jerusalem a praise in the earth. So, what does it mean until he established and makes Jerusalem a praise in the earth? That means it's set up and established a kingdom. The kingdom is not here because who's in rulership? Esau's in rulership. The wicked's in rulership. When the righteous are in authority, people uh, rejoice. When the wicked bear fruit, people mourn. Quick precept. As a matter of fact, get, get me, go, go to that Proverbs 29. Uh, go to Proverbs 29, verse 16. And then the, the, the link up is uh, Maccabees. This is Proverbs 29 and 16. When the wicked are multiplied, transgression increaseth, but the righteous shall see their fall. So now let's go to Maccabees. First, oh, you got it? Okay, you got it. This is First Maccabees chapter 1. Verse 7. Verse 9. Verse seven. Uh, go to verse 7. Go to verse 7. All right. Verse 7. So Alexander reigned 12 years and then died, and his servants bear rule every one in his place. And after his death, they all put crowns upon themselves. So did their sons after them many years, and evils were multiplied in the earth. And evils were multiplied in the earth. So that's Esau, man. Go Except ahead. For Malachi 1 and 4. Whereas Edom saith, we are impoverished. Oh, man. I just <laughs> had that, too. Oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> but we will return and build the desolate places. Thus saith the Lord of hosts. <laughs> They shall build, but I will throw down, and they shall call them the border of wickedness, mm. and the people against whom the Lord have indignation forever. Indignation. Give me uh, Isaiah, uh, 34. Isaiah 34. Let's start from the top. I got a quick now, I, did a, I did a video on that dealing with the commentary. It shall come down upon I, I do me. And I went into the commentary of uh, <laughs> uh, Matthew, Henry, and uh, uh, David. Uh, what's his name? Who, who's it? Who's who's it? it? He's on. He he's connected with Blue Letter, so I was reading both of their commentaries, and they and I believe both of them said the same thing that it's a future event. Mm. So, so what is it talking about? Yeah, right. Okay, that's what we that's when we come in the men of the Lord. Yeah, kind. all right. Go ahead. Go ahead. Isaiah thirty four verse. That's why these Edomites can't sleep, man. See, that's why they're demonizing us because this truth is getting at them, man. Time. Oh, what the Apostle Paul said. Um, uh, second Thess 
Can I read this real quick, Pastor? Uh, Job 9.24, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is it? Well, that links up with Malachi 1. Because who's in rulership? All you got to ask is who is in rulership? Are the wicked in rulership or are the righteous in rulership? Now, if you say, well, the righteous are in rulership, you know, which is the so-called white man. White man. Don't you see all the uh, paintings of the Sistine Chapel and all these good white people, man? <laughs> that's, some, that's some Renaissance art. Come. If you go to Google and you put in Renaissance art, what you going to get? Yep. All right? A bunch of white people, so-called white people. Go ahead. Proverbs chapter 29, verse Damn. 2. When the righteous yeah. are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn. The people mourn. So who's in rulership? Oh, the righteous. Well, why you got so many homeless people, man? Eh? You know, why you got people living? Homelessness is, is crazy, man, in this country. It's crazy, yep. you know? Probably. Oh, suicide. People. Oh, well, the, they said the suicide the military, rate. The military people coming home, they committing suicide. But they don't yeah. put that on the news. Yeah, they said the suicide rate is off the chain, man. Among the military, just, yeah. among, among people in general, but among the military, man. Yeah. They could, there's right now there's a military guy, a bunch of them kill, getting ready to pull that trigger, man. And a, a man of war is supposed to be rich. You go out to war, you're supposed to come back with spoil. These guys that go out to war for, for bullshit, and they come back with what? Because they're suckers. They they're come blind. back with stumpy jobs. Yeah, yeah, no yeah, legs. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Stumpy jobs. And the yeah, international yeah. bankers are the ones that get the spoil. Yeah, they're, they're, yeah. But they don't know that, man. And then and then there's this money. Is not worth shit, man? Yeah. You know, you go, hey, you go, uh, you go get, uh, hey, you go to the movies, man, with your family, you paying over a hundred dollars. If you're lucky, Damn. you're paying a hundred something dollars, man. That's crazy. You get a, a big ass popcorn for twelve dollars. Yep. Eight dollars, you know. Jumbo soda. And then soda. your kids, if you got five kids, they all want their own popcorn. <laughs> yeah. So you spent like fifty dollars on the popcorn, not to mention the soda. You know, the candy, the candy, and that's why back in the day, me and my candy. family used to sneak, we used to sneak shit up in there. Man. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still so that's the Jake, the Jake yeah. thing, man. They're going there paying, nah, paying a, 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 a five dollars for a, a small bag of M and M. You get, you get it from the store for yeah. a dollar. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now they're serving beer now. <laughs> well, they're serving wine too. Yeah, yeah. You, you, you buy a beer. eight dollars, man. Eight dollars for a little, yeah. little, a little thing of beer. Man. Find out if he needs, if we need to move, if he got to come in. Tell him, tell him. Uh, and they did the same shit before. And I, I show you, boy. And I show you, boy, that we famous, man. Yeah, yeah, the last time uh, we was at this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, they all working, you know, they working and shit, but, but that's the spirit, man. Yeah, they got the thing blocked off. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, all of a sudden they're working here. Yeah, right yeah, by yeah. Yeah. And that guy with the beard, the Edom with the big beard, he looked kind of a little, little uh, uh, shaky, you know, like, but I mean, it could just be coincidence, the one that wasn't in. Yeah, 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 well, yeah. Well, you know, yeah, just that's why you can <laughs> wave to them. How you doing? Yeah, yeah. Where the Israelites, you don't need a money. Nice to meet you, Esau. <laughs> yep. Go ahead. This is Psalm 37, verse 35. I have seen the wicked in great power and spreading himself like a green bay tree. Yet he passed away, and lo, he was not. Yeah, I sought him, but he could not be found. Well, yeah. I sought him, that, but, he, but he could not be found. Uh, Job, uh, you know what I want? Job, Job 20. And you can start at 5. Oh, Lord. Job to the 20, verse 5. I saw the 4, it says... Uh, knows thou not this of old, since man was placed upon earth, that the triumphing of the wicked is short, and the joy of the hypocrite but for a moment? So your rulership is a, a little time. They tell you that in Revelation, uh, oh, Revelation 20. They tell you that he, he's, he, he's going to come into power for a short time. The triumphing, the triumphing of the wicked is short. Come. So how long is their triumph? For about a little more than 500 years. Let's say 600 years. You know? Well, wait a minute. For, uh, 1490, uh, 1400s up until now, we're talking about what? Five, 600 years? So that's short compared to uh, forever. Our kingdom is going to be an everlasting kingdom. And that's less than a And that's why these people are saying who, that, 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 we're, that they are us. And they're not us. 
Uh-huh. And the whole world's waking up to it, man. You, the truth is going to catch up, catch up to your ass sooner one day, or later, sooner yeah. or later. Yeah. The truth is going to come get you, man. The what the et is going to get you. <laughs> Which is the truth. Yeah. I got a preset. Uh, 2 Corinthians 13. Coming, coming at you. 2 Corinthians 13 and 8. For we can do nothing against the truth, but for the truth. That's right. And that applies to anybody. That applies to Edomites. You got a lot of Edomites that come out and tell you the truth. There's Edomites that say, yeah, they, they're the Israelites. I put up a video that I got from, downloaded from another brother in GMS, I believe. And this, and this is an Edomite from England. And he's saying Deuteronomy uh, is talking about Jakes, talking yep. about so-called black people, man. Yep. I got one more. Uh, 2 Thessalonians 2 and 8. <coughs> and then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Yep. Yes, yeah, so the spirit of his mouth is talking about the most high speaking to us. His words. Okay. So who's going to bring the brightness of his coming when he actually comes? He's going to come with the power, you know? Done. Yeah, that's what get him. I got a quick piece of puzzle. Go ahead. Job 27, 13. This is the portion of a wicked man with the most high and the heritage of oppressors, which they shall receive of the almighty. If his children be multiplied, it is for the sword. And his offspring shall not be satisfied with bread. Yeah, that's an old one. Throw the dust, dust off of that. <laughs> yeah, right. Those that remain of him shall be buried in death, and his widows shall not weep. Though he heap up silver as the dust, and prepare raiment as the clay, he may prepare it, but the just shall put it on. The just shall put it on. And the, and the innocent shall divide the silver. He buildeth his house as a moth, and as a booth that he keep that keepeth uh, that he, uh, that the, the keeper maketh, the rich men the rich man shall lie down, but he shall not be gathered. He openeth his eyes and he is not. Terrors take hold on him, as waters. A tempest stealeth him away in the night. The east wind carrieth him away and departeth, and uh, and he departeth. And as a storm hurleth him out of his place. For the Most High shall cast As upon storm, do, do what? the east wind carrieth him away, and the, and depart and he departeth, and as a storm hurleth him out of his place. And a storm shall hurl 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 him out of his place, mm. push him out of his place. East wind, that, could that be how shot coming from the east? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. from the rising from the yeah. east to the west. Kind of. For the Most High. For the Most High shall cast upon him and not spare, he would fain flee out of his hand. Men, con, how is that in the missiles? Con, men shall clap their hands at him and shall hiss him out of his place. They shall hiss him out of his place. You know? Con. When you look at somebody, when you find a guy out as the wicked, the culprit, you hiss him. Yeah. yeah. You know? Like yeah. they hissed us. They hit, no, no, it says that in uh, the Lamentations. In Lamentations, yeah. too. Yeah, yep. so we're going to return the faith. Yep, that's right. That's right. right. Nice. And this is the spirit. We weren't thinking about going, going come, into this. Come. That's this the spirit. spirit, man. And well, you know? that, that's what the Lord told Moses. For it is not you. What is that? Exodus 4 and 10? I'm, I'm going to get it for you. Exodus 4 and 10. It says, uh, And Moses said unto the Lord, O my Lord, I am not eloquent, neither heretofore, nor since thou hast spoken unto thy servant, but I am slow of speech. And, and slow of tongue. Like us, we're not we're not um eloquent eloquent uh, orators. Sometimes we can barely read. <laughs> yeah, that's so that, yeah. that's true. That's true. Yep. 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 But I am slow of speech and slow of tongue. Yeah, when you read sometimes you yeah, so man. slow, but then the next the next sentence yeah. you get the spirit up and you read it fast, yeah, and yeah, it slows yeah. down. Yeah, yeah. And, then, and then you read in a word that you know, but it's like like it's like it's like for some reason it ain't making sense. Yeah, 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 yeah. And they say, "Oh shit, well, that's, that's the demons." Yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. uh, a lot, yeah. most of the time when we do the videos, yeah. you know, we don't even put nothing together. We just uh, kind of hit the button, yep, put that's the prayer it. up, that's it. That's and that's it. the spirit take you know, over. You know? Yeah, yeah. And then roll. once in a while you write little, you know, lists notes. together, uh, yeah. little notes. And like I was going to do this one video on the saints called the saints. <laughs> And I never did it, so I said I took a picture of it. It's in my phone, so maybe we might do it, you know. Right. And, that, and, that, and then when you hit hit one piece of every one piece of that you hit, 
for every one precept that you hit, there's there's a there's another two precepts, you know, yeah, that can come yep, through that. Yep. Yep, yep. Yeah, yeah. I'll read on. It says, and the Lord said unto him, Who have made man's mouth? Or who who maketh the dumb or deaf or or the seeing or the blind? Have not I the Lord? Now therefore go, and I will be with thy mouth, and teach mm -hmm. thee what thou shalt say. Beautiful. Yep. Yep. So you know that says it all right. There. Hey, well, Yahweh shall said, um, "Take no thought what you shall speak, for it shall be given to you in that hour what you shall, shall speak. Say. For it is not you that speaketh, but the Spirit of the Father that speaketh in you." Yeah. Hey, right now we're just pretty much going through the rehearsal. You know, it's it's a thing that it's a constant repetition, but it's it's already in us. So when the time comes, when the Lord needs it, it's going to be brought out of us. Right there, yeah. You know, yep. it's Psalm eighty-five, verse eleven: Truth shall spring out of the earth, mm. and righteousness shall look down from heaven. There's, there's one in Deuteronomy: My doctrine shall. Oh yeah, drop um, down. Drop down, down as rain. As rain. If you put in doctrine and you and you put the list of the scripture, that's the first one that's going to come up. Yeah, that's, that's a bad. That's a bad. That's an old. Yeah. That's what oh, we're doing it. now through the YouTube. You know, the do doctrine. We're bringing out the Most High doctrine, not our doctrine. God, so you're you know? right. That was the first one. It's the first one. Yeah. yeah. Deuteronomy 32 and 2. My doctrine. Let me see what one says. Oh, I'll start at one. It says, Give ear, O ye heavens, and I will speak. And hear, O earth, the words of my mouth. My doctrine shall drop as the rain. My speech shall distill as the dew. Mm. As so the how is the Most High dropping his doctrine in his speech? Yes. He's using, it, using his men. Yeah. Mm. Is there more to that, Pastor? Yeah. My doctrine shall drop as the rain. My speech shall distill as the dew. As the small rain upon the tender earth. And as the showers upon the grass. So what is that talking about? That's going to cover everything. So that's what we're doing. The most I got it where we, everybody's talking about us, man. Time. Whether it be positive or negative. You know, this is a global thing. We've gone global. Uh, uh, this guy, was it, Adi Adi said that. He said, GMS is going global. That was back in like 2008, 2009, man. Yep. Yep. So we're talking about what? Uh, uh, more than 11 years ago. Sure. So this thing been global. There's sure. people around all around the planet watching this, watching the videos. Oh, oh, you got yeah. You got more possible? Nah, that's it. I got a quick one. Habakkuk 2 and 14. For the earth shall be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord, Yahweh, by Shem Shai, as the waters cover the sea. I'll read it again. For the earth shall be filled. With the knowledge of the glory of the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, as the waters cover the sea. Go ahead. This is uh, Isaiah 58 and 11. And the Lord shall guide thee continually and satisfy thy soul in drought and make fat thy bones, and thou shalt be like a water garden and like the spring of water whose waters fail not. Yeah, that water is, is the truth. Uh, St. John uh, 7, uh, what's that, 738? 738. Uh, gotcha. St. John 7 and 38. It says, uh, uh, it says, uh, he that believeth, he that believeth on me, as the scripture have said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Yeah, so you can't help but to teach this word, man, you know? Kind of. I got it. Oh, you got it. Go ahead. Isaiah chapter 41, verse 17 and 18. When the poor and needy seek water, mm. and there is none, and their tongue faileth for thirst, I, the Lord Yahweh, will hear them. I, the power of Israel, will not forsake them. I will open rivers in high places and fountains in the midst of the valleys. Ooh. I will make the wilderness a pool of water. And dry land springs of water. That's his truth. That's his That's truth. His truth. It's coming out. So it's overwhelming. It's overwhelming Esau, man. The elite. God. That's why they got to do something, man. Their, their thing is to get us off the streets. And that's why um, Claudius Caesar uh, banished uh, the Israelites, which were the Christians, from Rome. So when you read, read it up, if you go to Google, that's in uh, Acts 18 and 1, and you go to Google and you say, why did, why did Claudius... Uh, 
push, get rid of the, 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 the uh, Jews. They said Jews, but they were Christ called Christians also. It was because they were doing what we're doing, man. Con, I got a quick. Oh, can okay, I read this? Second Ezra six and twenty. You know 20. what was happening? You had the disciples going out there teaching. Then you had people following them. Then you had people that were listening to them, and they were just going out there doing their own own thing. When you read about the, the vagabond Jews, all right. This is our second Ezra six and twenty eight. As for faith, it shall flourish. Corruption shall be overcome, and the truth, which hath been so long without uh, fruit, shall be declared. The, the truth is being declared, which is a description. The book, the book, the one book is the scriptures, man. Go ahead. This is Isaiah fifty-five and one. Somebody give me Isaiah thirty-four. Oh, we still in Isaiah thirty-four. Yeah, I got that. All right, go ahead. This is Isaiah fifty-five and one. Ho, every one that thirsteth, come ye to the waters. And he that hath no money, come ye buy and eat. Yeah, come buy wine and milk without money and without price. <laughs> Go ahead. Proverbs chapter 6, verse. <coughs> Somebody else got something? So the brother finds a spot. Six. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, but they shall be filled. Mm. Yeah, that's the elect. The elect will be filled with this truth. Hey, read that again. This is Matthew 5 and 6. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness. In other words, they're looking for the truth. Now give me Ezekiel 9 and 4. Yep. Ooh. Yeah. That's why not all Jacobs going to get it because they're not searching for uh, no. uh, this knowledge, this righteousness. Kind of like, um, uh, was this the son of Sirach or Sirach? He said uh, that he wrote these things for those that are addicted to learning. You know, it's an addiction. You know? You got it, brother. Ezekiel 9 and 4. And the Lord Yahweh said unto him, Go through the midst of the city. Through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. And, yeah, and that, that mark is the knowledge. I, the, the Hebrew word there is uh, quite quite. Yep. Uh, yeah, for what? For I'm sorry. Judgment. For what? For what? So like it, which means exempt from judgment. How are you exempt? Quite quite from... means uh, mark. You know, in the, in the, in the, in the law, marking yourself, yeah. you know? How are you exempt from judgment? Through the knowledge. Uh, what's that? Uh, 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 whereby thou must be saved, received with uh, the engrafted word, with meekness, whereby thou must be saved. That's the proof right there. You got it. Uh, Ezekiel 9 and 5. And to the others, he said in mine hearing, go ye after him through the city and smite. Let not your eyes spare, neither have ye pity. Slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children and women, but come not near any man upon whom is the mark, and begin at my sanctuary. Then they began at the ancient men which were before the house. Mm. And he said unto them. Yeah, so the destruction is going to start with guys that know that they're Israelites. It is. You know, because you got false... Right now in this thing, you got spies, you got false brethren. Galatians, uh, what is that? Galatians 2. Galatians 2, the Apostle Paul. You can go to that. Yeah, he, he, he talked about that, Galatians 2 and 4. So eventually the Lord is going to deal with the, with the false brethren of this thing. And the ones that just don't believe. Yeah, the unbelievers. Just, uh, Revelation speaks about that. She'll have their part in the lake of fire. You got it. Galatians 2 and 4. And that because of false brethren unawares brought in. So if you guys out there, you don't think you got false brethren brought into the faith, then you don't, you're not going by the scriptures. Oh, Jude. Yeah, Jude. Cursed children. No. Go ahead. It says, who came in privately to spy out our liberty, which we have in Hamashiach Yahushai, yep. that they might bring us into bondage. Yeah, some of them are set up to try to bring us back to Esau. You know? But it ain't gonna work. At the bottom line is that's why what you do 
You don't make this thing difficult and complicated. You no. don't have a whole lot of programs and whatnot. Yeah. All you do is go out there and teach, teach the work. And that's it. That's you it. teach during the week, you know, and uh, you teach uh, on the highways and the byways. That's it. And you go on to the scriptures. That's all you do. Simple. It's very simple, man. When you make shit complicated, man, you know, like letting women come in your congregation, you're you going to run into problems, man. Yeah, you got this program and that program. Hey, when the women, when the women, when the women get a disenchanted, boy, they talk about you for they dedicate <laughs> their life yeah. to, to talking shit about you, man. And was, weak, weak ass men. How's that saying go? Hell have no fury. No, that, that, that then a woman, woman scorned. <laughs> hey, like Gina Blue, man. She's still oh, she's scorned. Hey, boy, she's she's scorned, man. Yeah. And she she making she's still making videos about Nate and them, man. You know. Yeah. Yeah. And you notice when they leave, they don't get on Esau no more. The gospel is only against us. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, that's what you get, Nate. You're trying to create the daughters Yo, of Sarah. With no, hey, look, we ain't setting up no damn daughters of Sarah, <laughs> The man. daughters of Sarah. That's a know, big joke, man. <laughs> Sarah from the Sahara. And even Sarah was a liar because Sarah straight up lied to the angel. Well, she used to curse out uh, Abraham, yeah, Abraham yeah. man. She got all mad at Abraham. First of all, she she brought the, her, her, her handmaid uh, to have sex because yeah. that was a custom, right. you know, the law and the custom. Right, but then right. when 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 uh, the, the handmaid was uh, pregnant, that yeah. was supposed to be her son, but she was beating the shit out of it. Oh, yeah, know? yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, all she passing by with the dinner, put a leg out. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Not that it's in, the, it's in, that's in the book of secrets. You got to get that book. The book, the book of Sarah. <laughs> Yeah, the point is, Sarah wasn't all what you think she was, man. She wasn't Miss Virtuosity, all right? Hey, you know, but you know what proved yeah. that, she, that she was getting her ass kicked literally? Because uh, uh, Hagar went, went out to the wilderness, Oh, yeah, man. yeah, yeah. Ain't, yeah. No woman, ain't no man going to go out to the wilderness by themselves. Man. Nope. Let alone a woman. Let alone said, a man, woman. man, I let them, them, <laughs> them hounds. Them beasts and, have. Yeah, them, them hounds and them, and them tarantulas deal with my ass. <laughs> Before I got to deal with because this Because you can't fight it back. Yeah. You can't fight it back, man. And there's a scripture when uh, Abraham told uh, Sarah, say that, that you're my sister. So when they went among the Pharaoh, do you know the Pharaoh was giving, uh, giving them slaves and cattle and all that because of, because of Sarah? Because mm -hmm. she was so fine? But the reason, the reason why she was so fine was because the Egyptian woman was so goddamn ugly. Yeah, yeah. They said, they said, God damn. Let me, hold up. Let me give you some more space. If, if you go to the scripture, yeah, yeah. read about it. Uh, I don't know what it is. Uh, the precept where, where, uh, where it speaks about uh, Abraham said, telling uh, Sarah to be my say that you're my sister. Let me see if I can find it. Like, if you look up sister... Okay, uh, Genesis 12 and uh, 13. Um, Genesis. It speaks about the, the, kid, the Pharaoh. I think that's uh, uh, Abimelech is the Pharaoh, if I'm not mistaken. It, it's, it starts at 12. All right, let's go ahead and read it. Uh, well, but I, it says that she was so, they looked at her with so much beauty. He said, look, they're going to take me. Okay, go ahead, read it. Go ahead, read it. <laughs> this is um, Genesis 12 and 14. I'm going to start at 14. And it came to pass that when Abram was come into Egypt, the Egyptians beheld the woman that she was very fair. Now, now she was very fair, and she was up in age too. But they compared that woman to the Egyptian woman, man. You know, they were looking at that. They were looking at her. They were looking at her. They were looking at the Egyptian woman. They were looking at back at her. It's a camp. I got, we got to get some of them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because, uh, hey, truth be told, them, them, them Egyptians wasn't, wasn't the prettiest people in the world, man. Nah, they were They were dusty looking. Look at my new boat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He looked like a big, black, ugly stick for them. And that's just the truth, man. That's big, black ass. Hey, where you ever see a Sudanese? In, in, in a fashion show, you know, water. You don't see that, man. You ain't gonna see that. <laughs> the women were hard looking and the men were hard looking. Yeah. Damn. So read on. It says, verse 15. Zachariah. The princess also of Pharaoh saw her and commended her before Pharaoh. You. And the woman was taken I into Pharaoh's house. Yeah. And he entreated Abram well for her sake. And he entreated Abram well for her sake. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. That's right. That's right. And he, and he had sheep and oxen and he asses, 
and men servants, maid servants, and she asses and camels. And the Lord plagued Pharaoh and his house with great plagues because of Sarah, mm. Abraham's, I mean, excuse me, Abraham's wife. Yeah, because he, he, he wanted to lay down with her. Yeah, right. but then but but then the Lord came to, to the to the Pharaoh yep. and said, if you touch touch this woman, I'm gonna kill you. Yeah, yeah. So he went back to Abraham. We don't gotta read no more. And he said, Why didn't you tell me that? Because the Lord said that's his wife. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? And he and so the Pharaohs, they feared the Lord. They yeah, knew yeah, that yeah, the yeah. Supreme yeah. Lord was, man. Yep. Yeah, because uh, uh, Abraham didn't think that they feared the Lord. That's why he said, That's my sister, you know. Yeah, the Lord was about to get busy on them. Jude Egyptian. chapter 1, verse 4. But there are certain men crept in unawares yeah, yeah. who are before of old ordained to this Ooh, condemnation. Like Godly men turning the grace of our power, the Haubashim Yahushai, into lasciviousness and denying the only Lord Yahweh, Yahushai, and our Lord Yahushai HaMashiach. That's, that's why earlier we read, begin at the sanctuary. When the slaying commences, the Lord said to begin at the sanctuary. Why? Because just what you read there. You got you got certain men that are brought in unawares, ordained to this what? Condemnation. Ungodly men. Turning the grace of our Lord, which is this knowledge, into lasciviousness. All one has to do is look up the word lasciviousness, and you can spot who those guys are. God. You know, they come, they turn in this truth into that was one time where the where Yahweh lost his temper, man. He really lost his temper. He said, You're not gonna make my father's house. A house of merchandise. You got guys coming into the truth, turning this thing into a house of merchandise, man. They're selling everything that ain't nailed down. They're selling fringes. They're selling this. Yeah. They're selling that. Where did, where did the Lord tell us to do that? He said, buy the truth and sell it not, man. But guys got their own. They got their own ideas. You know, they got their own plans. So Make this him, thing is simplicity. It's simple. The simplicity that is of the house God. Yeah. God. It's very simple, man. And then the Lord clearly said, well, well, actually, Paul said it to Timothy, and having food and remnant, let us therewith be content, man. Having food and remnant. This, we're not brought in this truth to become uh, 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 rich men, you know? Wow. And what's going to happen when they do away with the dollar bill? Now what? what now what are you going to do? And they replace it with the chip, you know? You got it. You got it. It's Second Corinthians 11 and 13. <laughs> For such are false apostles, deceitful workers, transforming themselves into the apostles of Yahweh Shai. Yeah, deceitful workers. Go ahead. And no marvel, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Therefore, it is no great thing if his, minister, if his ministers also be transformed as the ministers of righteousness, whose end shall be according to their works. Slay utterly old and young, begin with the men at the sanctuary. Here you go. I got a You probably got what I got. I got First Peter. First Peter chapter 4, verse 17. It says, For the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of the Most High. And if, it, and if it first begin at us, what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah? And if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? Wherefore, let them that suffer according to the will of the Most High commit the keeping of their souls to him in well-doing as unto a faithful creator. Yeah, well-doing, man. Like you were saying, keeping things simple, yep. um, just doing our job. That's the best way, man. Yeah. That's the best Keep way. Keep it simple, man. Yeah. Yeah. You know? yeah. You come out on the street, you teach. Yeah. Which shows our faith. The main reason we're out on the streets because of our faith and obedience. Because you always I said to go in the highways and the byways, so that covers that. Ooh. Then we do the uh, on our free time downtime. We do the videos, which which produces what edification, you know, exhaltation and edification. No. Okay. Read this precept real quick. This is First Peter four nineteen. Wherefore, let them that suffer according to the will of the Most High. Commit the keeping of their souls to him in well-doing. Well Wherefore, let them that suffer according to the will of the Most High commit the keeping of their souls to him in well-doing as unto a faithful creator. Shit. That's why, like Yahweh said, uh, because you have kept the word of my patience, 
I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon the whole world to try them. You know? Yeah, that's a that's a heavy scripture. Yeah. Because that's, matter of fact, go to that, Revelation. God. And that, that word patience, patience means to suffer. Yep. It's from the Latin means to suffer. So you come into the truth, you're making all kinds of money. How the hell are you suffering? <laughs> Somebody got that? This is Revelation 3.10. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation. The hour of temptation is when they push that chip. Yep, yeah, yep. Now I did a video to, uh, earlier today, and I uh, uploaded it's already uploaded earlier today, one in the afternoon, um, where it, it said that uh, uh, Elon Musk he had purchased that company Neuralink from, uh, from another company owner, and basically he said that. Uh, He's gonna. He already. He's already tested monkeys. He's already got the, the, the brain chip in monkeys. And he said 2020 is when he's gonna put it in humans. All right. They said one of them. They did a couple of monkeys, and the monkeys was able to control the computer with their mind. You know. So now he's ready to do it on humans. And he said in 2020. 2020 is, 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 is four days, days away. away. Yeah. Yeah. Now, there's gonna be a whole shift. Paradise. Not only this yep. is a new year, it's going to be a new decade. A new decade, man. Yeah. You know, the Most High going. We see the Most High turning things up. You With know? a new spirit, new, new decade, new spirit, yep. new spirit. Yep. And that oh, yeah. backs up what uh, uh, before he passed away, what this guy said, um, Aaron, Aaron Russo. Russo. He said he got it from the horse's mouth, Nick Rockefeller. All of a sudden now, Nick Rockefeller don't exist. <laughs> but Nick Rockefeller said, look. We want everyone chipped. We want them chipped. So what El Apostol says lines up with, 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 they got an agenda. Let's not forget, they got an agenda, man. That's right. These, these, these top wicked elite, they got an agenda. It's right in the back of the dollar bill. Yeah, uh, Novos Ordo Seclorium, New World Order. You and know? you know whose agenda that is? The Most High's agenda. Mm -hmm. Most High's agenda, on the left-hand side. You know? The yeah, it's just the Most High. The Most High set that up yeah. as, a, as, a, as a stumbling block. But he used a, he used Esau as a stumbling block. Yeah, so left, Esau, uh, you ain't did nothing. You ain't come up with no plan. Nah. All you're doing is what the Most High Tell set you, you up to do. That's true. <laughs> so you're gonna lose at the end. Yeah. Go ahead, I. It says, "Which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth." Now that's why you got to know a little Greek and a little Hebrew thing. The Most High for giving us the blue letter. You go to that word in the Greek. The word there, and then back before the blue letter, we used to have concordances, and it, and it will tell you that word there is uh, uh, oikumeni, which means a whole inhabited earth. So the whole <coughs> earth, the whole the whole earth is going to be deceived to take that chip, and that's why the people of uh, Sweden is readily taking it. There's thousands of them that's readily taking it because uh, uh, because they don't know the scriptures. You know, they read the scriptures. They read the scriptures like uh, like it's um, it's just a book to read. Esau really doesn't spiritually look at these. They don't look at these scriptures with spiritual eyes. You yeah, know? they're carnal. Yeah, and they use the 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 Roman Catholic Church and all of them to to uh, deceive the world to push in that mark of the beast. The yep, yep, yep. Forget what's yeah, no because, revelation. Yeah, because uh, hey, the 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 uh, you're gonna have celebrities and stuff. They're gonna really push that chip. They're gonna make it um something that you know. What's what's the term? Hip to to, to take the chip, you know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're gonna they're gonna use a, a terminology. They're gonna have these actors and these rappers and these celebrities to take that chip. And that's and what and why are they celebrities? Because they're up above the people. Con. So if if a celebrity wears a new type of hat, everybody else wants to do it, man. Yeah. You know. Trendsetters. Yeah, yeah the, the chip is going to be a translating thing. Uh, Revelation 19. I got a quick preset, Apostle. Uh, Rev, oh, you, you, no, you go ahead. You go ahead. Uh, Revelation 19.20. And the beast was taken, and with him the false prophet that wrought miracles before him, with which he deceived them that had received the mark of the beast. And them that worshipped his image, these both were cast alive into a lake of fire burning with brimstone. So they're using every, everything that they, the Roman Catholic Church... Uh, uh, the EU, NATO, everything that America, they're using all of these tactics to, to deceive the people to receive this mark because yeah. it's being it's being placed or, or being presented to the people as something that's going to help 
or be beneficial to them. Well, they're already they're already uh, uh, doing that. They, uh, especially in the medical scene, they, they, they'll show you uh, uh, videos of guys that were paraplegic mm. or quadriplegic. Yeah, then yeah. they get a chip, all of a sudden they're able to move their limbs. They're able to move their legs. And that's what he just read, uh, creating miracles. You know, people that are not right, hip right, to this right. truth, yep. they're looking at, that's a miracle. Right. But they don't realize that if you take that chip pursuant to the scriptures, the Most High is going to destroy you. Mm. And plus, if you can, stay out of them damn hospitals, man, because what oh, they yeah. do is, you know, I went to the doctor, uh, doctor a couple months back, Oh, well, you ain't got the black woman. You ain't got no doctor. You got to have a doctor. Niggas, oh, yeah. Where, try to where's put, that yeah. Where's that Now I'm going to get the doctor. You know? <laughs> they try I to put them demons. Little, this little chick. <coughs> doctor, she talking about, yeah, you got to catch up with all your vaccinations. Yeah. I said, what? You, you got to check your prostate. Check well, it, she what? She gave me a list of things I got to do. You have to do it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, it's just about time for you to do the colon. You know, like yeah. you're a lab rat, yeah. you know, yeah. like you're going there, they're, they're probing inside. Let me look at, at, like, at this. I'm looking at this woman. I'm like, look, you ain't going to see me no more again. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Esau is a freak, man. Yeah. Like you're going there right yeah. there. Open up no, your asshole. No, she said you got to catch yeah. up. Well, you got to catch up with all your vaccinations. Yeah. When was the last time you had a vaccination, sir? Prostate you exam. you 12? Well, you got 50 vaccinations we got to get. And yeah. people are going there, yes. Get the yeah. Vaccination. Like lab rats. Yeah. They don't question nothing. Yeah. They, 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 you know? A stick of some like, kind of like crazy shit shots. up your ass. They give people flu shots, but there's all kinds of strains. Here it is, four yeah. days from January. I, I haven't got a cold, man. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I don't know what's going to happen in the next two months. Right. But Which, if I do get a cold, I'm playing on uh, just a couple urban, of days. Right. Urban, urban it out, man. Yeah. Urban you know? it out. Urban it out. Yeah. It's called and Urban like it out. I like this guy, this ESPN writer. Yeah. Which I believe his father was Eden Mike, but his mother was a Jake. He died, he dropped dead at the age, he was like 34. Wow. He's yeah, 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 that's right, that's right. Shit, yeah. Right? Oh, that, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you know? Report it, yeah. Wow. Hey, well, well, side take you out when he wanted to take you out. That's right. You could be in the best of health. Hey, remember well, the they remember the movie? Well, they were saying that. He said he, he never got sick. He was in the best of health. He was healthy. He was eating the right foods. He was yeah. going to the gym. And then he had a cough, and the cough wouldn't go away. Then all of a sudden, then Oprah, I was watching Oprah. She said mm-hmm. she she thought she had the cold, and, and the cold kept going, and she went to the doctor. He said, you got pneumonia. Damn. Good thing you came to the hot to the doctor, cause you would have been dead. I got a priest. And that question. pneumonia goes back to the pneumonic plague. Mm, right. the pneumonic comes from the word pneumonia. Mm, lungs. Bubonic and the, the, the bubonic Damn. and the pneumonic plague work together, and the bubonic and the pneumonic plague is back here in America, over there in LA, out there in California, because you have homeless people. What are they doing? They're shitting on the on the sidewalks. Yeah. Yeah. They're peeing. Yep. They're, they're regurgitating, they're doing drugs, they're leaving needles yep. all over the place. They're eating foods out of the garbage. So, it's, so it's see, Esau done fucked up, man. All right? Esau should have housed them because now it's going to affect healthy Edomites that are doing good, man. Yeah. It's going to spread. Well, it's affecting affect the born disease. And it's funny because Esau was, done messed up, man. Con, con. Out there, call, they call them Edomites in San Francisco, germaphobes. You know, they're scared, they have that phobia of germs, so yeah, they, yeah, everything yeah. they got to be precisely clean. But then the but Lord then, is but plaguing. Then, but then, when you constantly clean, when you constantly using uh, <laughs> yep, sanitizer, sanitizer, yep. what you're doing is you're, you're weakening your immune system. Yep. yep. So you got to have a little dirt on you right. to, to get that resistance, man. Yeah. Build up balance. resistance. Balance. Esau don't know what the fuck is going yeah. on, man. He's off balance. All right? Hey, somebody <laughs> give me a, a, a Revelation, 8, uh, Revelation 11 18. I got a quick precept for you. Uh, Psalm 103, 2 and 3. It says, bless the, bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, mm. who forgiveth all thine iniquities, who healeth all thy diseases. Beautiful, beautiful. So it's the most high that heal you, man. He said, I wound and I heal. Damn. You run into the doctor like some mindless moron. Neither mindless is there twit. anyone can deliver mindless out of my hand. Mindless twit. Yeah. <laughs> Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. That's what the Lord said. Then they put you on that cold ass meta, uh, metal table and they sticking all kind of shit in you. You know? Come on, man. You got it, bro. So Rock chapter 10, verse 10. The physician put an awful long disease, and he that is today a king tomorrow shall die. And you notice it says the physician. Right. And the king, the 
king can't live forever, man. There's a story. Which king was it? Hezekiah. Was it Hezekiah? Well, he about to die. He, he I had think a, it was Hezekiah. Uh, disease of the foot. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he got the herbs, but he didn't. He didn't pray to the father. Oh no, no, there wasn't Hezekiah. Okay, okay. No, no, was, that was, was uh, another another king. I can find it. It yeah, said he yeah, had a yeah. disease of the foot, but he trusted the physician. But he right. didn't trust the Most yeah, High. He, he died. He died. Yeah. Now yeah. Oh, you're supposed yeah. to trust the physician and the Most High. Yeah, yeah. You know. Yeah, yeah. I got a piece of plus. Go ahead. These, these, if I may say, I'm sorry. These doctors are not physicians. They're doctors, which the word doctor means to falsify. They don't know nothing about nutrition. The average doctor, they don't even teach them about nutrition. They teach them about them damn drugs. And them damn drugs have nothing pharmaceuticals. but... Pharmaceuticals. Yep. Yeah, pharmaceuticals and have nothing but dangerous side effects. You know? Wonder and ultimately, they give you cancer. I've been watching uh, Eustace Mullen. You know, I got back into Eustace Mullen watching oh, old yeah, yeah. videos yeah, and whatnot. Yeah. And uh, I got to watch... Uh, Injection, murder by injection. Yeah. But she goes into the whole hospital thing and it's nothing but a big business. Scam. Ran right. by the Rockefellers and so forth, you know? Yeah, he said when the, when you the have cancer. Jobs. Yeah, he said when you have cancer and they cut you up. He said, nah, the way he said it. You yeah, know, he's kind of funny. Spread, yeah, he spread, <laughs> spread you out your whole body. He right? said, now nah, the cancer is like, wow, now right. I got all kind of places. Yeah, I can yeah, go. That's right. Yeah, that's yeah, true. yeah. That's true. <laughs> oh, sorry. Buddy. No yeah. problem. This is a like loop. 5 yeah, to 17. And yeah, says, the way he said it. Uh, and it came to pass on a certain day, as he was teaching, that there were Pharisees and doctors of the law sitting by, which were come out of every town of Galilee and Judea and Jerusalem. And the power of the Lord was present to heal them. And behold, men brought in a man which was taken with a palsy, and they sought means to bring him in and to lay him before him. And when they could not find by what way they might bring him in because of the multitude, they went upon the housetop and let him down through the tiling with his couch into the mist before Yahweh shot. And when he saw their faith, he said unto him, man, thy sins are forgiven thee. In other words, they bust up the roof. They bust up the roof and let, cause so many people was around Yahweh shot cause he was healing so many people. So they, they said, we know what we're gonna do. They bust up the roof and laid this guy down right there. Hey, because you people know? understand power, man. Yeah. And yeah. that showed you that this uh, Christianity, the healing, uh, you call them faith healers, yeah. is all BS, man. All because BS. if yeah. that was true, where yeah. you can touch people and heal them, man, there'll be big long lines, man. Oh, hell yeah. Uh, getting healed. Ain't nobody getting yeah. healed, man. That's all a scam. Yeah. Well, they showed it a, a leap of faith. They showed how yeah, the scam, that's it. That's it. scam works. In the but movie. then now, on certain teams, uh, Televangelist shows like late late in the in, in the in the in the morning, Peter three in the morning. You, you have a Peter Pop off. You know who's in the audience? Nothing but black women. Yeah. About ninety percent of them, ninety five percent is black yeah. women. Yeah. And they're faking it, man. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. They're coming there, they give them wheelchairs and canes and they walk up and that. Yeah. So that's a whole what hold up, focus. Why don't you speak on that? Huh? They showed that in that movie with my man. Like, leave of faith. Oh, yeah, leave of faith. Leave of faith. Yeah, but the reason why I brought this out, he said, thy sins be forgiven. Hey, you doing he didn't that, say. doing that Irish jig. Uh, yeah, that, that was Spirit a funny Spirit jumped on him. Go ahead. Yeah, he's, the point was that he said, your sins be forgiven you because it's just, it's, you're sick because of your of your sins. That's why we're sick, because of our sins. You know? yeah. so he said, look, your sins be forgiven you, and then now you can be whole. Well, what kills us is, is a sin. Yeah, I'll sin. give you that in uh, uh, First Corinthians uh what is that, 15, huh. around about the 50th verse? Because in the same chapter that I read it, Psalm 103 and 3, it says, who forgiveth all thine iniquities, mm. who healeth all thy diseases. Right. So our diseases come from, which the word disease just means the body's not at ease. Right. Something ain't working right. The liver ain't working right. Yeah. The kidney ain't working right. right. So yeah. that comes because of our sin. Yeah. Sin is what? Transgression of the law. Yeah. The Lord gave us dietary laws. You, you, you uh, break the dietary law, you get the penalty. Your eyes don't work right. Your 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 your. This is so. They you know, broke the, the law. They broke the, the law. The law. You know, Esau in the garden. Give me that in First Corinthians 15. First Corinthians 15, verse 48. It says, "As is the earthly, such are such are they also that are earthly, and as is the heavenly, such are they also that are heavenly." And as we have borne the image of the earthly, we shall also bear the image of the heavens. So what does that mean? We have men on the earth, 
you know, and then we're going to be in the spiritual realm. Yeah, God. You know, somebody also give me Second uh, Corinthians uh, five. We can start from the top. Apostle, can and I? And that's read? another thing that Esau is not going to get. He's not. He's not going to be um, superhuman. Right. No. You know. Hell. Hey, vocab said that, and they said the Hebrew Israelites are going to be superheroes. Hey, but when you and when you read the scriptures, yeah. did not the Lord walk on water? Did not the Lord say, I can summon uh, uh, 12 legions, legions of, of demons, angels, which yeah. is, uh, I, I'm, 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 let me tell you, I said demons, I meant, I meant which legions. they are demons. Demons just yeah, yeah. intelligence. intelligence. Yeah. And angels, what was it, 12 legions, and a legion is 7,000. Yeah. Almost 7,000. So 7,000 yeah. times 12, that's a whole lot of. <laughs> that's a whole lot of angels. That's what, 84,000. 84, yeah. Watch out, you're backing up. I got a quick precept for you, Apostle. Uh, this is James 1 and 15. It says, then when lust, when lust have conceived, it bringeth forth sin. And sin, when it is finished, bringeth forth death. Right. Yeah, by way of diseases. No. You got it. Cancer, cancer is because of sin. This is Romans 6 and 23. Right. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of the Most High is eternal life. Through Yahweh Shia Mashiach, our Lord. You talking to go that way? Hey, Jake is funny. Yes. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Bring your ass it is, it is. Bring your ass home. Yeah, that is a chick. Bring your ass home. If you know how to drive. Go ahead and drive, you be. She asked for $2. She said, give me $2. She's trying to earn her money. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can tell we're in the hood. Hey, go ahead. Go ahead. Where we at? Oh, yeah. Pre uh, you had a precept. You had a precept. Uh, back, 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 back that bad boy up, son. If you knew how to drive. For the wages of sin let me, is death. Let me, let me will that. Go ahead, go ahead. Al. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of the Most High is eternal life mm. through Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, our Lord. So let's read. Let's read Corinthians, First uh, Corinthians fifteen. Let's read the rest of that. This is First oh Corinthians God. fifteen, verse fifty. Now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of Yahweh Shai Yahweh Shai. Neither does corruption inherit in corruption. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, the for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. Go ahead. For, for this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. So when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption, and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written. But, but what does that mean? They're talking about you're not going to have super. What does that mean? What about what, Samson? What does that mean? Yeah. yeah. Immortality. About, immortality maybe, means we go to the maybe we should go to the commentaries. <laughs> the mystical. Yeah, yeah. Israel yeah, of yeah. God. Yeah. Immo immortality means superpowers. Right. If you have immortality immo means uh, not die. Not yeah, die. not die. Which not means to die, which you got, have superpowers. We got yeah, superpowers, man. man. Yeah. We got no. more superpowers than Superman because Superman died because Doom kicked him in the kicked his ass. <laughs> kicked him in the ass. Hey, you had you had uh, kick us in the ass. Elijah. The, the, why, why did why did Elisha say I want a double portion of your spirit? Elijah had the power. He had power. He was able to raise the, raise the dead. Yeah. Can, super, can Superman do that? Nope. nope. Hey, the scripture you always bring out, uh, Elder Sacker Ron. He had to run, hey, Lois Lane. He had to run around the earth. He had to, he had to fly around the earth to save that other people. Oh, man. You know? Yeah. Hey, you oh, dead. my goodness. Oh, she was younger. She was all right. Hey, oh, my goodness. She's dead. Let me take this bitch up in the clouds and fly around the earth three times. Yeah. Yeah. Shit. yeah. Fuck trying, to Lois Lane. trying to turn back the hands <laughs> of time. Yeah, 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 if I can turn. Come on, man. <laughs> We're going to be the Superman. <laughs> hey, then, and then, and so, vocab, you don't read the scriptures, man. Hey, sure, the don't. Lord was able to turn water to wine. Yeah. Yeah. How? Yeah. Okay. How? How? He was able to walk on water. What does that and mean? And what did he say? What other <laughs> things did he say? Give me. <laughs> How you get me started? 
<laughs> Give me that uh, in uh, John last chapter. If, if they if they can put all oh, those words, oh yeah, yeah, no twenty one twenty four. Can I, can I bring out a quick precept? Go ahead. This is Isaiah 40 and 31. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. Uh oh. Ooh. They Ooh, shall. Man. What does that mean? Yep. That mean. X Men. We're the X Men. For real. Go ahead. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. What does that Come mean? On now. Hancock. Come on now. Hancock. They shall renew their strength. They shall you mean, Hancock. You mean we're not supposed to be tough guys in this thing? <laughs> <laughs> we're not tough guys now. We're sheep right now until the most high changes. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, That's right. okay. That's right. Go ahead. <laughs> they shall run and not be weary. Everybody and that runs. Yeah. The flash. Yeah. The flash. yeah. You know? It's one of my favorite. Everybody that flash. runs now, they, they get tired. Yep. I don't give a damn how, yeah. how much shape you're in. That's right. And they shall walk and not faint. Now, when you go yes. back, I believe that's in the uh, that history of uh, American uh, Indians. Oh, yeah. I believe yeah. it's in that book where it said uh, you had Gadites and other yep. Latin tribes. They can run 300, 400 miles and not get tired. Wow. And that's before Esau got here, man. But there, there, there was a story of a Gadite had a thing of water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he, he ran he, he, so he many miles. Out. And then he spit it out. And didn't spit it out. Yeah, you know? and didn't spit it out. Yep. That's, that's, that's my power would catch for your ass. There would be like a roebuck or a deer or whatever, and they yeah. would run, run past the deer and, and go and catch it. You know? Catch it, yeah. That's that's the power that Jake had, man. Oh, how should how that scripture go? How should one uh, chase a, chase a thousand? Yep, yeah, yep. yeah, and um and um, that's why Esau the, the, had the thirty-seven mighty men. My brothers can get it. Huh? Good job. Say again. Good job. Oh, thank you, bro. And that's that's why um um King David had the 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 mighty men. Yes, that's what yeah. I was gonna say. Yeah. Yeah. And it said in the apocrypha to tell you that David was able to play with bears and play with lions. Man. He leaped over walls. He leaped over walls. That's that's spiritual power. Well, they were extraterrestrial, but we're going to be on a higher level than them. Yeah. Well, this, the scripture said the the one that's feeble shall be as David. Yeah. So that's what the right. hell does that's that right. mean? That's right. That's and David right. leaped over walls. And then David it said, go, go to that. Read that. Read that. What does that mean? Vocab, man. The one that's feeble shall be as David, you know? You get it right now. I got that in John, St. John 21. Pastor, if you want that. Yeah, go ahead. John 21, 25. And there are also many other things which Yahweh did, the which, if they should be written, every one, I suppose that even the world itself could not contain the books that should be written. That's all the miracles that he did, man. And what did he say? He said that my power... Uh, how, how do you say? Ye, um, the ye things shall have and the things that I do, ye shall do, do greater. and greater, and greater, greater. Yeah, yeah. and greater. So the great things that they couldn't even record it in all the books in the world couldn't record it. He said, "We're gonna be greater." <laughs> so uh, what does that mean? What does, exactly what does that mean? Uh, hey man, Paul was able to uh, summon demons, Satan on uh, oh yeah. uh, Alexander and Hymenaeus. Yeah. What, what that brother uh, Epaphroditus fell out the window. Paul oh, was yeah. able to, through the spirit, of course. How was he able to do that? Yeah. You know, hey, the 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 the, the bones that Elder Sagrano always brings out <laughs> when Elijah. Wasn't that Eudicus? Eudicus, I'm sorry. I just, hey, that's all right. just that's hit all right, me brother. that it wasn't Epaphroditus. Right. Yep. Epaphroditus was the guy that was sick on unto, unto death. death. But the most high yeah. had, 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 mercy. Yes. had mercy on him. Yeah. Eudicus, Eudicus. Right. Yeah, the bones of Elijah was let down. People would, would the bones would touch him. And, and and people will come to life just by touching their, his bones. This is after he was dead. Yep. Yeah, Elijah, special special man. Yeah. Plus, we're Israelites. Israel means he's a prince of power. So we ain't going a prince of power ain't gonna get no power. When that Israel means we're the son of God. So yeah. if God can do whatever He want, all the power in the universe, then we can do it. We're His yeah. sons. We're His right. sons. See, vocab. That's why. The, the, wait a minute. If you could, if somebody's blind, you can heal them from being blind. What is that? That's power, my man. You know what is that? No, he he put some lutein together and gave it to them so they could take it. Stop. That. Injected him with some lutein. Did he, sprink, he make he mud sprinkled. cakes? He, mud? Sprink, he sprinkled. You're kind of yeah. yeah. You know. He had lutein in his fingertips. That, that's power, man. <laughs> hey, when Yahushai, when he was before before he came on the earth. The, him and the angels, they manipulated the elements to come together to create things. <laughs> Newton tips. You know? <laughs> Newton tips. I got uh, Zachariah. Hey, see these Christians? <laughs> hey, that's why when you go, hey, I'm going to keep doing that on that commentary, man. Just to see how Esau thinks. Yeah. And they highly esteem this guy 
Uh, what's his name? Uh, Matthew. Matthew Henry. Henry yeah. Ma now we read about this dude, Matthew, Matthew Henry. Yep. We read about him, and this guy goes back to the 1600s. Yep. yep. So you mean to tell me you got to go that far back? You got to go that far back? Yeah. Right. To 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 get commentary? Because they don't know. They don't understand the scriptures. Yeah. Sure. And this is why everything is a curriculum that they follow. It's something that they follow. It ain't something that they that, they regurgitate what they what they taught. That's what that's vocab right. does. I mean, I keep bringing up vocab's name, you know, because he's out out and about. Yep. But when you when you hit him with something that he's not familiar with, he don't he he runs. You know, yeah. he'll change the subject. He, yeah. You know, filibusters. He'll fill it. He'll fill it. He's a massive filibuster, man. Uh, Zechariah twelve seven and eight. The Lord also shall save the tents of Judah first, and uh, the tents of Judah first, that the glory of the house of David and the glory of the inhabitants of Jerusalem do not magnify themselves against Judah. In that day, saith the Lord, in that day shall the Lord defend the inhabitants of Jerusalem. And he that is feeble among them at that day shall be as David. Now, when you read about David, it was said of David. Uh, it said Saul have killed his thousands and David is tens of thousands. So David was a, a fierce warrior. Right. Yeah. Man. Go ahead. Uh, so and and David had suit and his men had superhuman strength. Matter of fact, give me that Chronicles about 30, uh, 37 was, mighty men. Con. That's some that's some super superhuman shit right there. Who's that? Benaya? Ben Benaya. Ben 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 jumped right? jumped in uh, the pit. The pit and fought on a snowy day and fought a lion and tore it and, and then he took the, the, the staff from the Egyptian and he and he and he killed him with his own staff. Yeah. Hey, Samson killing a thousand Philistines with the with jawbone, jawbone of an ass. ass. And the jawbone of an ass meaning that the, the, the bone was uh you know, ready to break with fragile oh, to the most high for the spoil of duty of Samson to go into that jawbone and make it a super jawbone. Right. Yeah, yeah. And he was fighting them Philistines, which they were fierce warriors, man. Yeah, yeah. And they yeah. had armor and all that, and he was just swinging, going Taking through the armor. Yeah. That's that's superhuman power, man. I, yeah, yeah. I think I think it it it, it, be, it became a part of him. It became it was, a part of yeah, him. The spirit. Yeah. Yep. Yep. <clears throat> So that's super, that's super, superhero shit, man. Yeah. That's, super, that's some superhero shit. Superhero. They, they Where do you think they got the concept to make superheroes from yeah. the scriptures, man? Scriptures. Why do you think, like, uh, and this guy's into comics. Why? Uh, because he's in, he's a uh, comic. Talking about that vocab? Vocab, he's in the comics and shit. Where do you think the con they get the concept for Superman? Yeah. Superman from a, from a planet called Krypton. Oh, hey. You want to go around? All right. Oh, no. Okay. I just let him, this, he ain't, he's, he, he ain't, he just let him, let him, let him. All right, brother. Um, um, uh, the vocab is into the comics. They're into the comics, man. Now, 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 Superman's name was kal which is a Hebrew word meaning all powerful. All powerful, yeah, yeah. So when they wrote that, put that comic together back in the 30s, they, they came up with Hebrew, a Hebrew, a Hebrew name. All right? Wait a minute, immortal life. What does that mean? That means you can't, if you don't, if you can't die, that means you have some kind you of power. power. You have power. Uh, no religion. Uh, we are the Hebrew Israelites. Hebrew, are Jewish. Hebrew, well, yeah, you can say that. Yeah, we're Jews. We are Jews. No, we are Jews. Man. The real deal. Somebody going around saying real that they're Jews, Jews. and they're not. But the synagogue is. He's you know what? He's Polish. Polish. Okay, Polish yeah. good people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm Jewish and they have this body. That's true. That's right. You're Pol yeah. Polish, yeah. yeah. Polish okay. and Israelites, okay. man. You know? Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, good precept. This is Jeremiah 32 and 27. <laughs> Behold, I am the Lord, the power of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? Mm. Mm. Hey, well, the sons of God, sons of the power. Yeah. Uh, Yasha Allah. Yeah. That means the, the sons of, of God or the sons of the Most High have power. Yeah, sons of the power. You know? Oh, well, uh, our forefather Jacob, when he wrestled the angel till, till the break of dawn, basically. He got what? He got a blessing of what? Power. Yeah. His name went oh, from Jacob. Oh, give me, uh, give me uh, numbers, 
You spoke about it earlier. Numbers uh, 24. Go right to the point. All right. I said, Jacob shall do valiantly. Yeah. How you doing, brother? Yeah, brother, look at who the fuck is the Go ahead. Uh, numbers 24. Uh, give, 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 give him a couple of dollars. Oh, okay. Uh, numbers, numbers 24 and, um, and 18. And Edom shall be... You, brother. All right. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome right. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Israelite, yeah. 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 brother. We're Israelite, yeah. man. You're going to be sitting on the throne one day, brother. Don't worry about what you're going through, brother. You're going to be sitting on the throne. Go ahead. And, and Edom shall be... In, that's the 12 tribes. Exactly. That's right. Go ahead. And Edom shall be a possession. So. Of course. Seir also shall, down shall down be a possession. Yeah, that's true. Right? Esau. That's and right. Man, man. That's right. That's right. The most sacred. That's it. Go ahead. Uh, numbers 24 and 18. And Edom shall be a possession. Seir also shall be a possession for his enemies, and Israel shall do valiantly. That's the one you, you got to read up a couple of verses. Get, get, get uh, more into the story. Read up a couple of verses four, 14, above, above, above that. 14. Because uh, I wouldn't want to read the whole story. Right. But that's... Uh, this yeah, is when 14. Israel came out of the land of Egypt, which is Mizraim, <laughs> and really uh, the, the king of Moab, which is Balak, wanted to curse Israel because they, they were like the new kids in town getting ready to take shit over. And we came with great power. So he said he went to Balaam. He knew he was a spiritual man to curse Israel. So Balaam told him in the 23rd chapter, he said, I wish I could be, at my latter end, I wish I could be, be like, them. Like, like those yeah. people, yeah. But he knew that. The most I showed him. The, he was the, the man whose eyes were open. Yeah. Who opened his eyes? The most high. Yeah. Yeah. And he showed him, this is what these people are going to do to you in the latter days. Yep. The latter days are now. This still, this prophecy still is yet to come to pass. Yep. Right. See, and Esau studies everything, man. So they're saying, we got to stop these guys. We got to get them off the street. And maybe the most high will delay his coming or won't come. Guess what? The most high is going to come anyway. That's right. If we, if we off the streets and we don't do this no more, the mo that's going to make the most high come. Yeah. Yeah, the devil uh, uh, knowing that he has but a short time. Yep. Revelation Coming down to break wrath. Yep. Knowing that yep. he has but a short time And then you what? know what? Everybody says the, the Bible is a, is a book. There's a book of, of uh, fairy tales. He said the devil has a time that he has to oh, reign for a second. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. He's okay. about to go down now. The so-called white man, that's the devil. Wow. Well, Jesus is now. He's coming okay. back. Yeah. He's coming okay. back. Yeah. He's getting ready to come back. Okay. Of course. Oh, yeah. Of yeah. course. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Right. Most of the time, is that most of the time, okay? But what do you what, what do you say? Why? Why? He's coming back to save us. Yeah. Sure. yeah. Huh? I know. Go ahead. Yes. Um, Numbers 24 and 14. And now, behold, I go unto my people. Come, therefore, and I will advertise thee what this people shall do to thy people yep. in the latter days. Latter days. This still haven't yet. This is yet to happen. Yep. So that's how deep this guy was. That's how much his eyes are open. Go ahead. And he took up his parable and said, Balaam, the son of Beor, have said, and the man whose eyes are open have said. And the man whose eyes are open. Who opened his eyes? The Most High. Yeah. So can the Most High open the eyes of another nation? Yes, yeah. he can. Yeah, he can do that. He's the Most High. He He's the Most what, High. What do you yep. want to do? He have said, which heard the words of the Most High and knew the <clears throat> knowledge of the Most High, which saw the which saw the vision of the Almighty falling into. Oh, wait a minute. Hold up. Um, the king of uh, Babylon, the uh, king of Babylon, Nebuchadnezzar. He saw the vision of the of the ten toes of the, of the, the right. feet, feet of him, yeah. the statue. He saw the beast. So he, saw, the Most High, opened up his eyes yeah. to see a thousand years in the future. future. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To yeah. be exact, uh, two thousand five hundred plus years in the future. Yeah, yeah. check that out. Yeah. And he was a, he was of another nation. So when people talk about the the, the Bible as a fairy tale. But they're always talking about it. If it's right. such a fairy tale, just put it down with the rest of the fairy tale books. Yeah, yeah leave it alone. With, 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 with right. Little Red Riding Hood or whatever, you know. Well, you always reference it. Just put it. Just put the Bible <laughs> with Goldie locks and shit. They're know? always referencing it. Because they know it in their spirit. They know it's true. Where's the commentaries for the Quran? You got people that drive in their car, and they put an open Bible on the dashboard. 
They don't even know what's in it. They just open the you know, Bible. They should put up an open open book of uh, Little Red Riding Hood. Yeah, why a Bible? Why you, get why my they blessings put... from the Little Red Riding Hood stories? Because they know there's power in this book, man. That's why. That's, uh, this guy said it. Uh, What's that? The book of Eli. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Is it oh, yeah, yeah. power in this book? Yeah, 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 yeah. There's power in this book. The book of Eli was about the Bible. Yeah. The book of Eli was about the Bible. The people will believe it if it says it in the book. Yeah. I just skipped straight to the back. <laughs> Say I again? Said, I just skipped straight to the back. I was like, well, that's some shit right there. Oh, yeah. that just is like, wow. Revelation. Gotta believe in it then. Gotta man. believe in it. Yeah. That's yeah. right. Man, so nobody has to be of course, I know. I, I, I appreciate that. Okay, no, you be too. Me too. <laughs> what, is, what is that lion? What is that? That's the lion. Judah. 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 Go, go to that. Go Judah to that real quick. Christian, can then? Yeah, Judah. Judah oh yeah, Christian. Lion, uh, Jesus I'm, I'm, is the lion. Who? Give go go go. I'm not going to believe that. Real quick. Who just said that for for the last that said? I'm not going to you also. It's no different. There's the book of Revelation 5 and 5. Ah, come on, come on. Old come on, come on. And one of the elders saith unto me, Weep not, behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah. <laughs> come on. <laughs> the That's root. The Lord. That's Jesus no, Christ. This, the yeah. root of David. I better not oh, say yeah. Jesus Christ too loud. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Come on. Break down, come right? on, come on. Break that because we will. The root of David. Hath prevailed to open the book and to loose the seven seals thereof. And he's a so-called black man. He's a black man. Black yes, man, yeah. yes. Yeah. Well, in Poland, they know that the black Madonna. Right, like the black, the black Madonna. Black man, yeah. he, he, he knows. And in, 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 in the African Ethiopia, yeah. In the Ethiopia, yeah. Yeah, he looks yeah, like yeah, a, yeah, like yeah, a, yeah, he looks like yeah, an Ethiopian. Yeah, 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 that's right. That's right. That's right. Come on. Hey, well, that's, that's that, that, what is that? Uh, am, are you not as the children of the Ethiopians yeah, yeah, unto me, yeah, yeah. or house of Israel? The Israelites look like the Ethiopians. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> People, okay. Uh, people are going to come. Oh, he's a jack. He's a jack. Hey, he's all around us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it, man. Yeah, yeah. That's it, man. That's it, man. straight facts. Oh, definitely. Word, man. Do the power. That's it. Do the power. That's right. That's right. Go ahead. Go ahead. Do the power of Abinawa. That's it. You don't want to say that. Do the power. <laughs> oh Lord! Through the power of the Most High, His name is Yahweh. Yahweh, that's right. And his Yahweh son's name is Yahweh. Yeah, Yahweh. Don't say Yahweh. Yeah. <laughs> and they got all nervous. Now, wait a minute, man. That's like saying Jesus coming back. Yeah, right. Yeah. Uh, Esau, a trip, boy. Esau, a trip. We understand why you're afraid, Esau. You're afraid, man. This is a spiritual thing, man. Yeah. This is a spiritual thing. Cause you know your Esau, you know your judgment's coming. So you well, should be afraid. The woman, that woman said on that video, es Esau is ruling, bitch. So, well, she, do you know who uh, Hashem you know is? Either Esau is. Esau is the white man. That's their true biblical <laughs> name. You know who Hashem is? You know who Hashem is? Word. Yeah. Go ahead. Go you ahead. know who Hashem is, little boy? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Hashem. Hashem just means the name. That's right. Uh, when they come across the, the word Yahweh, they say Hashem. Yeah, the, 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 the name of the Lord is dreadful among the heathen. That's it. That's it. Go ahead. This is Isaiah 41, verse 15. Behold, I will make thee a new sharp threshing instrument mm. having teeth. Spiritual power. That's spiritual power. <clears throat> that's talking about us. You know, the, the Lord's uh, hopeful elect. Yeah, how, I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. That's how the Lord is going to magnify Himself through us. Yeah. He's going to give us that power, and that's going to glorify the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. Yeah. Hey, how how do you think Moses is able to split this, the Red Sea yeah. or the the uh, Gulf of Suez? Power. You know, it was the Lord, but the Lord used him, and He said, "Stretch out your staff," and the sea started to go back. That's spiritual power. In other words, the Heavenly Father is going to channel His power through us. Right goes back to channeling you know we're going to channel his power to us yeah because because we're sorry. just no that's all right because we're just utensils man we're God. just utensils of the heavenly father that's all we that's are it. that's it the power well, belongs well, to him well, 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 well. Power is God. that's it yeah God but god work. works through men all right everybody god from heaven i like you and the people for me no no everybody 
Yeah, that's but God works God for man. God is better than nothing. Rock. Nothing. <laughs> oh, he's number one. Yes. That's right. That's right. You're right. That's he's number one. God yeah. works that's through yeah. men, but there's certain men God works that's through, it. like the prophets. God is, yeah. <laughs> like the prophets. You, yeah, yeah. You and you, okay? You day, you day, this day, this day, this day. That's it. No. That is right. God is number one. I feel like, no, no. Number one. No. Number one. Because God, you and. 1925, you died. You died. Oh, he's like, oh, he's like, I got, he said, hey, you got, you got. I don't know who you are. Big man, I'm going to go I think he's playing about the most like killing. He's the most like killing. He's gay. Right. Okay. Brother, you understand this? Well, stop around. He understands. You're right. I understand you. You're a bad dude. Let's go. Let's go. Let's read on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I, I got a, a quick precept. Okay, Psalm 82, okay, okay, okay. Psalm 82 and 6. I have said, ye are gods, Woo! and all of you are children of the Most High. <clears throat> so so gods, wait a minute. Gods have what? They have power. Now, Vocab is saying that, we're saying that our Lord, Jesus Christ. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. Okay, wait, 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 wait. It's a hey, choice. Huh? Jesus was born, and then, and then, uh, what go? Uh, Jesus was born. Okay, Okay, come on. Jesus born for the right because for you, everybody. No fucking fucking. You know fucking. You devil. You devil. No, he's not. 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 We gotta yeah, they call you Howard Shad the devil. Yeah, They call you Howard Shad the devil. That's right. Oh, I'm not laughing. I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. I'm for the devil. I'm not kidding. You work for the devil? I'm Christian. I'm not kidding. I don't believe me. A devil did that. Never kidding. Okay. I got a quick scripture. Okay. Matthew 10, 25. It is enough for the disciple that he be as his master and the servant as his Lord. If they have called the master of the house Beelzebub, how much more shall they call them of his household? I know that's, that's all we need. Yeah, come If you read down, it, it, it continues. Then there's another one that says, um, it should be they right, call right him. Well, Beelzebub is another Beelzebub, one. Beelzebub, yep, yep. Con. I got I got uh, a quick precept. John ten. There you go. That's the one. Ten and twenty. Where was you at? I was I was at Matthew ten. Okay. Well, this is talking about Yahweh Shai. John ten and nineteen. Con. There was a division therefore among again among the Jews for these sayings, and many of them said, "He have a devil mm. and is mad. Why hear ye him?" Others said, "These are not the words of him that have a devil." Can a devil open the eyes of the blind? And then they said that he does it through the, uh, the devil. Oh, wow. yeah, yeah, the power, power of the devil. devil. Yep. Yeah, we're we're out here opening the eyes of the blind, my friend. The devil can't do that. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. First, First Thessalonians chapter four, verse eight. He therefore that despiseth despiseth not men, but the Most High. Yeah. Who have also given unto us his Holy Spirit. That's right. Which is the comforter. Oh, right. wait a minute. That's power. The comforter is the scriptures. That's spiritual power. The, the ability of the Holy Spirit to be able to teach the Bible, teach the word. That's spiritual power. So what are you talking about, vocab? We got spiritual power on a low level. The yeah. word Most is spiritual. He have given us a little power. A little, little power. Yeah, the word is spiritual, and it's a power. Hebrews 4 and 12. As a matter of fact, I'll read it. Oh, he told the disciples, wait ye in Jerusalem till you be endowed with power from on high. From on high. Yep. And the first power that they had was to speak in different languages. That's it. Could Superman do that? Could Superman <laughs> speak Cantonese? If there was Israelites from Cantonese, they were able to speak Cantonese. That's right. right. This is the book of, uh, hold on, what? man, hold on, man. Hebrews 4 and 12. It says, for the word of the Most High is quick mm. and powerful <laughs> and sharper than any two-edged sword. Woo! That's why earlier we were talking about how people open the Bible on the dashboard of their car. Yeah. Because they, they know there's power in this book. Well, this is a scripture that backs it up. It speaks about us treading upon serpents. That's also in what, Matthew's 10. Come. That's in Matthew's 10. Come. It's in a couple of places, but I know it's in Matthew's 10. 
Yeah, I'm gonna finish read that. Uh, Hebrews four and twelve. For the word of for the word. Hold on, man. Hold your tongue. For the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit, and of the joints and marrow, and is and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. That's how powerful mm. this book is, man. Yeah, because Volcast's attention is on the Israelites. Yeah. Why? Because we have the truth. Yeah, we have the power. Not because we don't have the truth. Yeah. If we were in so insignificant, why would Volcast waste all his time chasing well, us and coming to our camps? He's set up. He's set up. Yeah. You know? And the top elites, they know that we that the Lord is dealing with us. They know that the spirit of the Lord is speaking to us. They ain't they, talking about the uh, uh, comedic and Moors. Yeah. Uh, hey, this is the this is doctrine that's, that's being dropped. You know, they know that we're the prophets, man. They know the prophets are back, the top elites of this society. They know. I got a precept. You know? This is Psalms 8, verse 4. It says, What is man that thou art mindful of him, and the son of man that thou visitest him? For thou hast made him a little lower than the angels, and hast crowned him with glory and honor. What are you reading from? Psalms chapter 8 verse 4. you know what you could do also go from after that go to uh hosea um, uh, uh, hebrews uh, 1. hebrews 1 and 1. no because hebrew and that uh, hebrew is a different language and that's right yeah but it's a, it's a book it's a book i'm not gonna say this this old system and this new system and this that after you have jesus christ and when the <laughs> lord came on the scene when jesus christ as you say came on the scene he was above all the angels and he became lower than the angels. Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, and that so, so, book, I went through the whole Hebrews, the whole book. That's a man. bad echo. Oh, 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 but bad. that show you that the Paul was dealing with Yahweh Shah. Yeah. Yeah. Paul wasn't doing his own thing. Right. Because no. he brought he gave the understanding of what Yahweh Shah was all about. Yeah. The deep understanding. He went, he went into the laws. Oh, people, yeah. <laughs> he went in depth. He went in depth. The first verse on now. Yeah, the first, first, okay. first verse. Uh, Hebrews 1 and 1. The Most High, who had sundry times in a diverse manner, spake in time past unto the fathers by the prophets, hath in these last days. What's the prophets? Isaiah, Jeremiah, Ezekiel, Obadiah, Joel, mm -hmm. Habakkuk. God. And, and see, another thing that vocab don't believe, he dismisses all of the, the, the books of the prophets. Oh man! Like they're not going to come to pass. Why would the Most High give them all these things that's going to come to pass, and they're not going to come to pass? You know, come. doesn't make sense. Go ahead. Have in these last days spoken unto us by His Son, whom He hath an, an appointed heir of all things, by whom also He made the world. Go ahead. Who being the brightness of His glory and the express image of His, of his person. Yeah. And upholding all things <laughs> by the word of his power, when he had by himself purged. What's our the sins. word of his power? The scriptures. What did he say? Behold, I come in the volume of the book and the spoken of me. Go ahead. And upholding. Can I read this, go ahead, please? Go ahead, go ahead. Quick precept. Proves we got. <laughs> <laughs> proves we got power, man. Micah three and eight. But truly, I am full of power, by the spirit of the Lord, and of judgment and of might, to declare unto Jacob his transgression and to Israel his sin. Ain't that what we're doing? So Micah said, he, he's what? Full of power. It power. takes power for you to be able to do that, man. Right, to so be able to control about, okay, that. I was going to use this to transformation in uh, Jeremiah 50, uh, 51 and 19. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. wait a second. Like, wait a, wait a, okay. Why you open for the end, in turn for the, for the, everybody will say, no. Talk for you, you head, not fucking close and it is. That's the no, 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 we gotta, we gotta go. We gotta no, go. No, 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 come on. Why are you here, man? No, <laughs> no, 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 no. Why are you here, man? No, because no. that's the street. And 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 that's I read one and okay, you listen okay. and then you, you're going to be bit okay or open okay Bible, not yeah. for there yeah he's trying open. to say the internet yeah. is, is not uh, internet he got a problem with us reading the Bible. Oh, no, no, no. But the Bible, the Bible. The Bible, Bible man. Oh, yeah, this we had to teach the Bible. This is the first oh, thing. for you, oh, baby. Okay. We had to teach right the Bible, right here, man. We got the Bible. We got the Bible. Right here. Yeah, we got the Bible. Okay. It's the same. Okay. Oh, he's Escuchame. Escuchame. Oh, no, no, no. 
He's old okay. school. The Bible. Well, okay. this is the Bible. This is the Bible on the no, computer. No, no. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no. Okay. That, that proves he's a jerk. That proves he's a jerk. What? I got you. I got you. Come on. Okay. Hey. I read it from here. I read it from here. Hold on, hold on, man. Hold on. Sakura, can I get some light over here, bro? I read it from the book. Right. Hey, my name is Tim Chichin. Right here, right here. Your name is Fred, my friend. Your name is Chichin. I said, listen, first Peter 4, 11 says, Don't be deceived. Don't be deceived. If any man speak, let him speak as a prophet. If any man speak, right here, right here. You're going to double check it, man. Give it, man. The Bible, the Bible. Yeah, sure. Right here, look. La Bible, la Bible. La Biblia. Hey, right there, right there. Right there, right here. You think this is a trick? No, right, right. Trick Bible? You gotta go right here, my friend. In the front. Right there. Holy Bible. Holy Bible. The Holy Bible. Okay? Convinced? It's good to say convince the game, say. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Good? It ain't gonna change. Okay. Man. Hebrew, Hebrew Greek, yep. Okay. Uh -huh. Hebrew, you ready? Greek. You ready? Greek. Oh. Yes. I never found that. This is never for here. I'm not believing. No, they got it on the computer. Okay, all right. Okay, okay. you don't believe it. Can I, can I read it? First, First Peter 4.11. What is it? What is it? You. I'm, I'm reading for what you. What is the new one? If any what man is, speak. What is the new one? Jesus Christ. Can I read it? What is the new one? Can I read it? Oh, can I read oh, it? Don't let them read the Bible. Listen. If any man speak, let him speak as the oracles of God. If any minister, let him do it as of the ability which God giveth. That God in all things may be glorified through Yahawashai, Jesus Christ, to whom be praise and dominion forever and ever. Okay, listen. Forever. This is the thing that says that God talked for the Israelis, for the Jews. Right, the real okay. people. Old Testament. The okay. real Jews. Yeah. Old Jews. Oh, those okay. No, 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 no. The real Jews. The real Jews. The real Jews. And then. Uh, those people in Israel are uh, not uh, the Jews. Jesus Christ. Born and, and the, the same Jesus Christ is a black no, man. No, no, no. He wasn't. <laughs> Jesus Christ is a black man. Okay. He okay. wasn't born in December. No, no. Oh, he wasn't no. born in December. Are you a Buddhist, eh? No, no, no. Are you no, a Buddhist? No, I know. Show me in the Bible. Show me in the Bible. No, Show me in the Bible. You don't know. You don't know. Okay, Show me December 25th. You don't know, and it's time for you to go. You're not believing that. Okay. It's time for us to go. Not in the Bible, my friend. My friend, not in the Bible. Okay, you're not believing that. Bring out the pizza. Any last pizza? Bring it out. Bring it out. This is Psalm chapter 12, verse 6. Oh, Lord. The words of the Lord are pure words, Ooh. as silver tried in a furnace mm. of earth, purified seven times. Woo! That's how po the powerful this book is, man. Uh, I got Go ahead. It's Proverbs 8 and 7. For my mouth, I'm going to start at verse 6. Here, but I will speak of excellent things, and the opening of my lips shall be right things. For my mouth shall speak truth, and wickedness is an abomination to my lips. All the words of my mouth are in righteousness. There is nothing forward or perverse in them. Mm. They are all plain to him that understandeth. That's the elect. And right to them that find knowledge. That's it. That's the elect. Knowledge. Go ahead. Uh, Psalm 68 and 35. Oh God, thou art terrible out of thy holy places. The God of Israel is he that giveth strength and power unto his people. Blessed be the most high your house. And let's close it on Isaiah. You got a precept? Go ahead, bring out the pre precept, and then we're going to close it on Isaiah 34, 16. Excuse me. Proverbs chapter 12, verse 28. In the way of righteousness is life, and in the pathway thereof there is no death. Read that again. It's Proverbs chapter 28. It's like a 12 verse 28. In the way of righteousness is life, and in the pathway thereof there is no death. There's no death, you know? So ultimately, we're going to be immortal. Gosh, right. So that's superhuman. Yep. Superman, yeah. you know? Oh, give me, so we're going to close it on Isaiah. Isaiah, 30, uh, Isaiah 34 and 16. There's, there's a scripture in Revelation that says there shall be no more death. Right. Shall wipe away all sorrow from their eyes, meaning the Israelites. Yeah, uh, Revelation 21. 21, come. Huh? That's a good scripture. Right. It's Isaiah 34, verse 16. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. No, it's not the Quran, it's not any other book. It's, it's the scripture. Go ahead. No one of these shall fail. The deeds are the prophecies. Go ahead. 
None shall want her mate. You can't make this with any other book, man. And that's why all, like we said earlier, everybody's talking about, they said the Bible is a fertile book and they're knocking the Bible, but they always got Bible, the, the, the word Bible, the scriptures in, in, the, in their subject. Yeah. They're always comparing the Bible to these other books, you know? Go ahead. For my mouth, it have commanded and his spirit, it have gathered them. <laughs> and the words. The prophets, yeah. go ahead. <laughs> Okay, that's that's it. So with that, we're gonna say shalom. Shalom, shalom. shalom. to the elect.